I would like to uh, speak on diabetes related kidney disease. As you know, uh, CKD, CKD, we tell it CKD, means chronic kidney disease. It is a very common association of diabetes. I usually say my patients that if you have diabetes, then you have entered probably the first stage of early kidney disease. Now, it is your quality, it is your challenge, how long you can prevent the full-fledged kidney disease in your body. Sometimes those patients who are very much regular in their treatment, they are very much careful about their readings, reports. They can totally avoid the kidney disease till the end time of their life, that type of patients I have seen. On the contrary, there are those who are very careless in their medicines and lifestyle. They suffer from ultimately kidney disease within three to five years. From the day one, they get the diabetes. So it is not only the caregiver, it is the understanding of the disease from the patient's end, which can prevent kidney disease, not only kidney, any end organ damage, like eye protection, heart protection, our brain protection, GI tract, neurons, neuropathy preventions, all are linked with diabetes. So first of all, if we talk about the patient awareness or management, how can you prevent kidney disease? First one is the blood sugar test. Blood sugar reading as much as possible, one should be uh, doing it in the laboratory. Fasting means nine hours fasting, nine hours from the dinner. That is called fasting. And PP means two hours after the meal. Meal means when you start taking meal, not the end of the meal. So that we call the PP, blood sugar. Then we assess random anytime in between. That gives a little idea about the blood sugar. And next is the fourth one is the most important test. Most important test I tell you that is the HbA1c by glycolated hemoglobin. That should be tested every three months. And our glycolated hemoglobin target is 6.5 to 7, not more than 7. And that should be maintained every time you do it. PP sugar should be between 160 to 180, fasting within 115. That is uh, our main criteria. If one can check it, then probably he will not get any end organ damage in long run. Uh, blood pressure should be controlled within normal limit. Then food habits in food, uh, junk food, then taking food outside. Then some foods are not good for our body, mostly kidney. So that should food should be avoided. avoided. Daily uh, fruits should be taken. Diabetic patients should not avoid fruits. Daily fruits, vegetable salad. They are the cornerstone of therapy. And then protein intake, there is no hard and fast rules. Uh, lip, uh, oil should be restricted. Then physical work. Physical work has the immense role in management of diabetes. And so far, the end organ protection is there. Uh, daily uh, minimum of one kilometer uh, should be worked. Then other, other process like cycling is a very good exercise. Yoga, playing any games. They are there. That is a good role. That have a good role. Then meditation, yoga, relaxation techniques, any kind of whenever possible, uh, unnecessary medicine you should avoid. Painkiller is a very dangerous thing. Like many antibiotics, nephrotoxic, the, those drugs are dangerous for the kidney. That should be avoided. That's all. I wish you all good health. Thank you.